everyone. Welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. And today we're gonna make some page kits. So I am going to do a little series where we start with a collection, we make page kits, and then from there I do layouts. And from the leftovers of the layouts, I'm gonna make a base page. And then I'm going to make ephemera and then I'm going to make another completed layout. So I've come up with, I've always done it this way. This is how I use up a collection. I don't know what I'm gonna call the series yet. Hopefully by the time we do the first page kit, I should have a name. I've asked my scrappy friend Barb to help me. She's good at those things. So we'll find out some little catchy phrase to call the series. Today we're just gonna make the page kits and have fun. Now, I actually already shot this in a video I went through the whole thing, opened the pack, made the page kits, then I accidentally deleted the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you the page kits that I made. Now I have pulled in papers. Some of these may end up being recipe layouts, um, but I don't want to just use these collections that I have picked out for my recipe book just for recipe layouts. There are some beautiful papers here that I wanna use for other things too, but I want to use what I have. So this is how I'm gonna to try to go about it. Now, I do have the Sunflower Market from Cartabella. Um, what year is it from? 2021. And, um, I also bought the solids and a few extra papers. If you watched when I started my recipe series, the recipe um, layout series, I have been collecting these um, for a long time. So I have a lot of Cartabella, and when I say a long time, like almost two years to do the recipe um, book that I'm doing. But I do want to use it for other things because these papers are beautiful. I mean, they're Cartabella. How can they not be right? <laughs> I'm not the only one that thinks that, right? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to um, use the kits, but I'm also going to pull in some scraps to create. I created six um, page kits. And when I do page kits, all I do is the papers. I don't know um, where each layout is going to lead me, but if you've watched me long enough, you know this is just my process. That's how I do it. Your process could be different, and that's okay, too. There's no wrong way to do this. Okay, so let's just have some fun. Um, I obviously have the sticker sheet left. I'm just going to show you what I had left. I have a cut apart, and a, the B side is this. Um, now, I had several of these because I love this color. Same thing here. I'm not crazy about this, but I have like four of these because I love this red, you guys. I know, I know that's not shocking anyone. And then this one I just had left over, but it does have cut aparts and some fussy cutting elements. Like I could cut out this car. I could definitely use the recipe, right? Homemade, you know, that could be a title. I could maybe fussy cut around that. I don't know. But I'm not crazy about this side, but I could probably fussy cut this even. We'll see where it goes. And then I have a sticker sheet. This one is actually from Farmer's Market, but it was in here. I don't even know why I had it in here, to be honest. So we're just going to go over the page sheets that I made. So here we go. After we do this, then we'll start going through the page kits. Probably start that on Monday, most likely. All right, so this is the Sunflower Market paper, and this is a Sunflower Market paper. And then I added this out of my scraps. It is a pink paisley paper. I just liked how that looked. And then I had a piece of cardstock basil, eight and a half by 11, that I liked. So there's page kit one. Pretty papers, I love this combination. I am so disappointed that I deleted it because I literally went and dug through my baggies and everything. Yeah, I went to edit it to make the video. <sighs> it wasn't there. Because <laughs> your phone gets full. And so you have to edit the ones you've already uploaded. Yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole process. <laughs> okay, so in this I had a um this piece of Sunflower Market, right? And I'm gonna say that this is one that I bought on clearance because look, the branding strip is even cut up, cut short. Isn't that crazy? And then I have this leftover because I have dipped into this kit and I think I created one layout with this um, line already. And then I had a scrappy piece that I really liked with it and then even a smaller scrappy piece that I liked with it. So there's page kit two. Okay, this is fun for me. I love this process. You know, 
Uh, and this time I'm gonna count. I'm gonna see how many layouts I get out. I've done it before in different ways, but I'm literally gonna start with one collection kit and go from there. Might be the way I just do things now. I don't know. Okay, so then this one is from Sunflower Market. It is the bee, Mumblebees. Then we have, we seen that yellow. And then as I was doing it, I remembered that I had this leftover from Simple Cottage in my black scraps. And look at that. I think that's gonna look really good together. So there's another peach kit. Okay, I'll put that away later. Then we have this one here. It too is, um, this is just gorgeous paper. I love this paper. I, I, it's pretty. And then these are both from the Sunflower Market. I love this wood grain. And then I remembered that I had this Cartabella piece of paper. And this is actually an autumn line. But look, the sunflowers match perfect with what's on the, the little pictures. Here, I'll put it up close. See, there's little sunflowers on there. And then I have this piece of cardstock that I thought also went really well. So there's another page kit. I think I got so frazzled because we had a storm and I'm trying to get some videos done ahead and oh my goodness, it was a hot mess. Like it actually rained, rained here. Good for my garden, maybe there's hope yet. <laughs> okay, so this one is the um, Sunflower Market paper I picked. And this could work either way. I don't know that I'm gonna do the roosters, but I think I'm gonna go with the green. And then I have this scrap from Sunflower Market. And I love these two together. That was my base for starting. And then I pulled in this yellow scrap and this one is from Echo Park, just like that. And then I had, I just wanted a pop of red in there just because there's already red in here and you guys know me. If I can get red in, I'm gonna. <laughs> so there's that one. And I think I got one more. Okay, let's go, one more, one more. So then, let's see here, there's that pretty red paper. You guys know me. This one will probably, I would say 99% sure, end up being a recipe layout. Um, I think maybe the one with the pictures, I could probably probably safely say. Um, look, I'm already setting it up. This is what I do. Like, I'll pull off page kit and I just start playing around. So um, let's, uh, oh, sorry. So this was leftover from the Sunflower Market, Sunflower Market. These were scraps left over. I think I actually used this side, but I'm matching it up like this. I have these, right? And then I pulled in this floral. I thought it looked really nice. So that is the last page kit. So we're gonna go on another journey um, and we're gonna have lots of fun. I appreciate you. I would be honored if you gave me a thumbs up. I'd be even more honored if you liked and subscribed. And I've had a few more people ask me how they can make sure they see my videos when they upload. And all you have to do is click that little bell and it will automatically come up on your phone like so-and-so um, uploaded a video. Hopefully it's me, but I also hope you do it with your other creators as well. That's how you do that. Um, I hope you have a very blessed day. I am excited to start working on these collections, specifically this one for right now, the Sunflower Market, and let's just see where it takes us. I'll talk to you later. Bye.